everyone, welcome back to Tinsley Trials and my channel. Of course, I'm Morgan. You guys know that by now, surely. Today we are doing the mother of all Target hauls. As many of you know, I live in a small town in Kansas. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram or all the places, you know that I live in a little bitty town in Kansas and we do not have a Target. It's actually really sad for me. I grew up in Kansas City, which of course there are Targets there. And um, when I go home, sometimes I visit Target, but this time I just ordered a bunch of stuff online and then when I was home for New Year's, I ordered, or I went in to Target and bought some more stuff. So this is the mother of all Target hauls. Some was bought online, some was bought on in store, but it's all available to you through Target. Most of the stuff I bought, I'm pretty sure you can buy in store all the time, except for maybe a couple of NYX items. I'm not sure. Anywho, let's get down to the nitty gritty, y'all. Okay, we're just gonna start with. I've got some papers over here. If I look over here, it's because I'm trying to give you guys prices and be really accurate because I know we're all about that pocket book. Okay, first thing that we have in my magical box of Target is from NYX. It is a liquid illuminator. It comes in this little tube. I have never used a liquid highlighter before. Um, it's, it says it's a lightweight liquid illuminator that gives skin a refreshed glow and beautiful highlight. So this liquid illuminator, Target for $4.99. Can't get it open. Take me time to figure this out, but it looks great on the back of my hand. <laughs> oh, I got an eyeshadow primer. Aren't we all grateful? Okay, so this is by NYX. It is their Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. This is the packaging it comes in. It comes in a cute little box. I love it when stuff comes in a box. It says turns any eyeshadow into a waterproof eyeshadow. And it gives directions, so that's great if you never use an eyeshadow primer, it gives you directions. This was $6.99, which I feel like is a little bit expensive for an eye primer. That's 0.23 fluid ounces. But we all look, we're gonna look at that and decide. This is a huge box for 0.23 fluid ounces. Oh, packaging hates me today. Okay, look at this tube. Tube. Box. Really. Okay. Oh, come on. What kind of applicator? Okay, so it comes on kind of like a lip gloss applicator. Oh, that's really wet. You guys see that? That is so wet. Look at this. It's kind of shiny when you rub it in. We'll see how that dries. It says to let it dry, I think, on the packaging. Set and let dry for a bit. Sure. What's next? Oh my gosh, I am so excited to talk about this product. Every, everybody got this product before I did. So it's not new to the world of makeup. But it is new to me and quickly made its way into the loving home of my heart because it is gorgeous. This is, you guys might even be guessing what I'm talking about. Um, it is a blush. It is by Milani. If you guessed that, you win all the prizes. This is Milani. It's their rose blush. 
this looks high end. It's $7.99. So this is less than $10. And I'm so excited about it. I'm so scared to open it. Oh, that's really It opens so gently. Okay, look at this, you guys. Look at that. Well, this might be a little light for me. I'm going to sit on my vanity and let it look gorgeous. So that's it on my finger. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it's super light. I should have maybe got a little bit darker, but for maybe you're an everyday wear, or maybe just a super romantic look, that would be wonderful. Um, or I could just pile it on. But again, I cannot stress enough, this packaging is stunning. I am not even joking. If they made like a 12 inch one, that you could like hang on like a fake one it wasn't like it wasn't really makeup I would hang it on my wall because it's so pretty just like the color everything I'm in love with this okay I'll leave it be any of you Milani rose powder blush this is romantic rose 01 7.99 from Target get you one because they're gorgeous of course what I want is all the way at the bottom Okay, this is a Revlon lip liner. I paid $7.59. That's a really expensive lip liner. Why is it everybody calls me when I'm trying to film this? I just got like three phone calls, like back to back to back, and I only answered one. <laughs> so, Revlon lip liner. This is um, the Color Stay lip liner in plum. This is the packaging. This is way dark. Way, way dark. I did not think it was going to be this dark. I don't know if I have any colors that will work with this. But I love me some lip liner, sort of. I only sometimes wear lip liner. I don't wear it very often because I only have a couple of them. I have invested in lip liner. Oops. Okay. Um, it was $7.59. I think I already said that. But again, we don't say it again. Let me get some of this stuff off the back of my hand. Oh. Let me take our little plum eyeliner. Oh, I'm always scared that it's going to be like broken. Okay. Look at that. That's the color. And it's more of a brownie than I thought. Oh. Oh, I definitely have something that goes with this. I'm sure I do. And this is super creamy. That laid it on super easy. Freya is trying to get in the ring, and I am just not having any of it. And. That doesn't really come off on the finger. I mean, there's a little bit, not much. Next, ooh, um, I always get one of these whenever I am either A, can afford to add it to my order, or B, it is available and around. I have trouble finding them sometimes, so I get them when I can. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. You see me use it in pretty much every tutorial. Whenever I wear pretty much any foundation, I put it on. I plan on doing a sponge video because they are my pet, it's my pet peeve. Get you one Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is $4.99 from Target. It is $5.99 at Ulta. So watch out for that. Buy this at Target, don't buy it at Ulta. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade Deep. I plan on using this for a contour. This is actually fairly light in comparison to what I thought it was. So this may be too light to contour with but I'm not sure. I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna see if we can find out. I've never actually used their concealer before. So I'm really excited to try it. Ooh, that is dark. This is so dark. This is darker than it looks against the pack. This looks so much lighter in the package, but look at how dark this is. Oh, that's creamy. It is a little orangey. We'll see. We'll see though. Um, this Fit Me Concealer is $5.49. I don't think that's a bad um, price at all for a concealer. So Fit Me Concealer. What's next? Ooh, mascara. This is by L'Oreal. It is called Miss Manga. 
It is their Intense Black Pigment, Black Pigment, Extra Black, Voluminous Last Scare, Mask Scare. Oh my gosh, that is a mouthful. Good gracious. This is what the packaging looks like. It is so cute. I can't tell if those are pandas or just adorable little. I think they're pandas. I love pandas. Okay. They have covered their bases. I'm gonna rip those pandas, apparently. I love mascara tubes. Lipstick tubes, mascara tubes, eyeliners, lip liners. I just like makeup. Let's be real with me. I can be a little bit real about that. I just like this makeup. This is a huge tube. I feel like it's huge. Especially, maybe I'm just crazy. Is the cover girl tube this huge? Um, it is. I'm just crazy. This is just as big as some other stuff I have. Oh. I just love the sound. <gasps> Look at this. Look at the way it bends. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think it's supposed to do that on purpose. Look at the brush on that. That's so incredibly black. Look at this. So it bends and flexes. Can you see that? Oh, I hope you can see that. It bends and flexes. So it can really get up in there. Ooh. I'm actually really excited about this. I didn't think I would be. Because I actually I don't have a whole lot of L'Oreal products. True story, I've used a lot of their stuff, but I've just not found anything I have to have all the time. But this has really got me curious. We are going to try this so soon. I'm going to try this tomorrow. Happening. Okay, uh, what's next? Maybelline. Their Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So many people have told me to use this. So many. Okay, so it's 0.67 fluid ounces for $5.99. That's kind of a lot. Real talk. Because the Maybelline Master Prime concealer, the Blur and Smooth, which is huge in comparison, it is one fluid ounce. So this is actually the same amount of money. So if I like this just as well as I like this, you better bet your money I am not going to tell you guys to go and get this instead. So let's hope that I like this. It's by the same company and I love Maybelline stuff. I realize this all the time, that I'm actually a Maybelline addict. I had no idea I was, but I have so much of their stuff. So much. It's bad. Okay, anywho, moving on. Let me go on a tangent. This tube is so, it feels so small. I won't even lie about it, it feels so small. Oh. I was expecting some sort of, I don't know why, but I was expecting it to have like a of some kind. But this is like, it's just a threaded normal thing. It is a gel. Like, it kind of reminds me of the, I don't know if you guys can even see that. Put a little bit in there. Yeah, it's all to it. Kind of reminds me of Photo Finish from Smashbox just by looking at it. I have not touched it. I have not smelt it. I have not used it. Just by looking at it, it looks like the Smashbox Photo Ready Primer. You have ever used this primer? You know what I'm talking about. That stuff is like a weird gel. Oh my gosh, it feels like that. Oh my gosh, is this a... Oh my goodness. I will freak out if this is a dupe for that. Because, true story, I'm a Smashbox primer addict. This. Look, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I hope you can tell. It's so soft. It's so creamy. And it definitely is mattifying. You can tell a difference in person between this part of my hand and this part of my hand. There's just a huge shine difference. But it's all right through here. Oh, it feels just like that. I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. I did not expect it to feel this way or look this way. I'm already predicting that I'm gonna like this better just because of the way it feels. This is huge. Huge, 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 huge. I will probably try this tomorrow. I can't try all these new products at the same time because I'm not gonna figure out what I like and what I don't like. 
This is the frustrating part of being me right now. Woo! So exciting. Okay. Also from Maybelline, this is the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. Um, illuminates and hides imperfections. It looks like this. I got mine in shade Ivory. I have used this before and I actually really love this. I was out and I bought something different. I bought the NYX concealer, but I love this so much. I love the brush applicator. I love, 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 love this. I actually wore this on my wedding day and I'm thinking about doing a, my wedding makeup tutorial, like, because I use such, but, it, but I, if I do that, I have to use products that are not from the drugstore in it because I did use some products from the drugstore and some that are not. So this, however, was on my face on my wedding day and so many days following. I think I wore it for engagement pictures, all the things. I love this. It, you shall not pass. Okay, sorry. Um, so it does have an applicator that's a brush and it is soft but firm at the same time. It's just just enough. You twist from the bottom to get it going. Ooh. You can see it. I'm just gonna paint it on my hand. This may be. Oh, yep, that's gonna be the right shape. It's beautiful, it's soft, and it's really good coverage. I can't recommend this enough. It's $6.49. It's a little expensive for a drugstore, but they last me a long time and I wear the crap out of them. So, super glad to have that back in my makeup wardrobe. Um, it is a Maybelline blush. I've never owned a blush from them before. Let me just say that now. Never owned a blush from them before. It's from their Fit Me line. I love everything from that line. This is the one I got. It is deep coral. It comes with a little brush. Oh my gosh, I got a concealer on this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the deep coral color. right now because I'm so excited I get really excited for blushes my cat is about to break down the door and of course they give us this really nasty little brush that I would never use Toss that and then get to the good stuff so this is the blush. I want you guys to really get a good look at this. There is a teensy tiny bit of shimmer to this. Oh, this is kind of hard. I like it when a blush is soft. Okay, so that's the color. I don't know if you can see that there. This is so disappointing. It's gonna take a ton of this to even make anything happen on my face. But it's there. I don't know if you can see it. It does have some shimmer to it, which I don't mind. But if you see me grabbing for a higher end blush than this one, do not be surprised. Um, that's really disappointing, actually. This was $4.49, but I, again, love the packaging for this Milani blush, but I'm kind of disappointed in this. This is really hard. I'm going to try it on my face, obviously, before I make a decision, but I'm kind of a stickler about blush being soft and usable instead of hard and just thick. So this mascara is by Maybelline. It is the last Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. It says, layers of lashes revealed volumizing mascara with a fanning brush. This is the packaging that comes in. It is very feminine looking. I love metallics and soft pink packaging. I do not wear pink though. Like pink clothing, it doesn't happen. Um, man, this is just... Oh. I've never had a wand like this. Really get in there. 
there. I like the plastic bristles. I like plastic bristles on everything. Harder bristles, I like that. But this is a very good black color. I don't know if you can see the black color. But this is so good. I'm excited. It's all, for me, it's all about how it applies and how it wears. If it applies well, but it wears like out and flakes and those crazy things, then I'm probably never going to wear it again. But if it applies well and I get a little curl and it doesn't flake on me, I'm pretty happy with this because I have a lot of, this is all natural lash. Every lash just going to be me. Anywho, let's get back to the excitement, people. Okay, the Blushed Nudes by Maybelline. I do have, as most of you know, the nudes, the original version of this palette. Maybelline. I love their stuff, but this is gonna make me mad. They sent foam, sponge, whatever you want to call these wands. I do not apply anything with these. Give us a give us a little brush. We'll use it. Even if we don't use it for this palette, we will find a use. There's always a use for a brush. Even if it is for cleaning up little edges and things. Okay, so these are the beautiful colors you get. get a total of 12 colors. Um, it does give you advice on the back on how to use them. There are some gorgeous shades in here. Um, you get only I just realized these are all shimmer. Uh, this palette is $9.99. Um, there are so many beautiful colors. There are greens and pinks. And um, a few taupey colors. I love taupey colors. If you want to compare it to a high-end palette, um, I don't have one to compare it to. There are some similar colors to a lot of palettes, especially like neutral palettes, but um, or like one of the Urban Decay palettes, but this is not an Urban Decay palette. It is not any of those colors. They're not identical. Don't try and replace your Urban Decay palette with these. Those are goddesses, people. They must be respected. Anywho. <laughs> That's probably the only like time I'll be like about palette. So when I went when I went home for the New Year's Eve, I did go buy a few more items from Target. This is what we got. I am super excited about this bronzer. It is a matte bronzer. It might be a little orange. I'm not sure. It is by Neutrogena. It is their Healthy Skin um, Bronzer, or the Healthy Skin Blends Natural Radiance Bronzer in number 30, Sun Kissed. So, it's a little orange. And sometimes when I wear stuff that is a little bit orange in the winter, it comes out looking a lot orange on me so I'm not sure I didn't think it was orange in the packaging and I got home and I opened it up and I was like oh my gosh this might be bad so we'll see we'll see how this works out um, it is expensive though this this particular product is $10.99 let me be honest with you I have shown you a ton of products today this is the only one over $10 and it is so tiny. It is super small. Um, there is a lot of product in here though for your bang for your buck, but an $11 bronzer better be giving me a lot and it better not be orange. And this one, I'm terrified it's going to be. So it does have vitamin C in it. And some, where were we? Okay, sorry, my husband just got home and he needed to change after work. So we're talking about the Revlon Ultra HD Phenomenal on Everything Lip. Okay, so first of all, this is Addiction. I think it's the only one that would look good on me, but I'll probably buy like 7,000 of them over time. And if I get even an inkling of an idea that they're going to get rid of this color, I'll be so mad. I've worn it twice already. It's the only thing besides the last thing I'm going to show you that I have opened before this video because I was so 
Okay, um, I'm ranting about this. I love it so much. It applies beautifully. This is the color. It is stunning. If you want addiction, um, or you want to see what addiction looks like, it is the color that the model is wearing in all of their photos for this line. So her lips and I think her fingernails are the same color. And it does go on and it has a shine at first, but then over time it gets like matte or if you like blot it, it gets matte and it stays beautiful. And I'm just in love. Okay, it's my new favorite, probably, for a while. And it's great for winter, bonus. Okay, moving on, our last item is another item that I have tried, I've used it like six times because I wanted to be able to review this when I filmed this for you guys. So this is something that has had so many people talking on Instagram, Snapchat, um, probably on Twitter. I'm not super active on Twitter. I, j I get my notifications and I'm like, mm, not important, so I move on. So, but if you direct message me on Twitter, I will for sure get back to you. Um, anywho, I digress. Uh, but this has been everywhere, and it is the Garnier Micellar Water. You can see I've used some. It was like full to here, but I used this six times. I washed my face morning and night, three days in a row with this. And um, I did use an exfol exfoliant today, so my face is a little bit more raw today than usual. But I will use this tonight to take off my makeup. And I have never in my life been so impressed. I have super oily skin, and um, using it is a really interesting process. Because what you do is you take cotton rounds, and you pop the top open, you put your cotton round here, and then you put... Um, just a, you douse basically your cotton around it, in it, and then you, for eyeshadow, for eyeshadow and eye makeup, you hold the cotton round in place for a few seconds, you rub it gently, maybe hold a little while, and then it takes off everything. There is a waterproof makeup version of this. I did not buy the waterproof makeup version of this to try because it, um, it has salts, like straight up sodium chloride salt in it and I don't want anything that drying on my skin uh, waterproof stuff can be super drying anyways and I'm not about that life so I do have oily skin but it literally says removes makeup cleanses and refreshes no rinse no rinse no rinse no harsh rubbing face lips and eyes um, I have used this to take off that Revlon Ultra HD lip color um, because it does stain and it works perfectly. It's super gentle. It says no alcohol, no oil, no fragrance. And it is so true. This is so clean, so refreshing, and my face doesn't like start oiling up after I use it, which it does after my regular cleaner. Ooh, regular cleaner. My regular cleanser. Um, I have noticed that my face appears healthier um, just in a couple, of a couple of days. It looks healthier. It looks matte, but not in a way that, oh, it's matte, like, she's got something on her skin, but it's just like, what you would expect someone to look like without makeup on. That sort of, like, naturally matte. No, not an oily sheen no, everywhere. That's how my face looks at when I use this. And I still use my moisturizer, and I still don't get oily, and that is just amazing to me. And I have never um, been so impressed by anything. So, super excited to keep using this. I'm hoping my acne will be under control a little bit with this because there's nothing really in it that would affect my skin in a way that would make it break out. So, that's really exciting. Always, I did use the micellar water uh, on a clean face the first time because I was interested to see what my regular cleanser, which uh, I'm not afraid to say what it is. It is the Amino Clear Compaction Clear complexion foaming cleanser. Um, it's the one in a pump, a uh, white bottle, green pump, and I've been using it for a long time, like a year and a half, maybe two years. And I am disappointed to say that even though I thought it was getting my face clean, I used this on a supposedly clean face and I got even more makeup on. I cannot stress that enough. This takes away stuff. 
the other cleansers don't. And I'm really impressed by it. It is $6.99 for 13 ounces. I pay $8 for 6 ounces from Aveeno. Um, I'm assuming this is going to last a long time. It uses, for my whole face, it takes 6 pads. For just my eyes, it just takes 2. So, um, they sell bigger ovals, or cotton ovals, that you can use if you're going to use your own face. I think this one is my whatever my mouth of cotton rounds. This is amazing. $7, 13 ounces is a great deal. I'm loving it. Also, I don't think I told you guys how much that lip stain was from Revlon. It's $7.99. It's a little expensive, but I think it's worth the cost. Again, that's a holy grail item. I will keep using this, and I will keep you guys updated on how I'm liking it. But this and the moisturizer is all I've been doing for my skin, and hopefully it kind of keeps on. That's it. That's everything. Oh, that was so much stuff. I feel like that was like 15 items. I'm not going to count. I'll feel bad about myself. So, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. It was huge. It was a lot of information. Um, if you have questions about any of these products or you want an update on how it works, I'm sure there's a few things I'll probably update you on. Both of the mascaras I'm really excited to use. Uh, definitely the baby skin from Maybelline. Super excited about that. Uh, the eye primer from NYX. And this Milani blush that we know I'm in love with. I'll definitely, I'll definitely keep you guys updated about that. And of course the blush nudes palette from Maybelline. Other than that, I don't have any announcements or anything. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram all over the place on the internet. Find me, find me. All that information is below. Please like this video if you love seeing hauls from Target or other stores and comment and tell me if there's something that you wish I would have used more or swatched better or how I can improve to make sure you guys are loving what I'm doing. Um, like, subscribe, do all the things. Alright, thanks for joining me again. See you next time on Tinsley Trials.